So this is another training video on nanograms. Um, last time the videos dealt with ambient temperature and rectal temperature. This nanogram deals with brain temperature and ambient temperature. So I'm going to go through just two quick examples. Um, it's the same concept as before. In the first example here, um, a male was found inside a vehicle with the windows open. The ambient temperature is 23 degrees centigrade and the victim's brain temperature is 34 degrees centigrade. So again, I'm going to have to come over here along this axis for brain temperature and make a mark at 34 degrees centigrade. And then for the ambient temperature, I'm going to come down here and make a mark at 23. Once I've done that, I'm going to use a ruler or a straight edge and connect those two points. And in this example, I'm going to use a blue line. Now, once I've done that, I'm going to look where my blue line crossed the diagonal line that was part of the nanogram. In this case, it's approximately right here at this point. Now I have to start from the center of this target location, draw a straight line out through that point in which my blue line intersects the black line, which is part of the nanogram, and continue to extend that. That will give me an approximation of the time of death for this individual. So here I'm going to use a red line for this example. So going from the center of the target out through that point at which my blue line intersects the black line, and we see that it comes on out through here. Now I can give an approximation of time of death. In this case, I've got one hour, two hours, three is right there. It actually crosses exactly at the two and a half hour mark, and it does show that there is a possibility of range, so I would say for a possible time of death would be two and a half hours plus or minus 1.5 hours. The second example here I have, we're looking at a female who was deceased in her living room. The ambient temperature is 20 degrees, her brain temperature is 28. Again, I'm going to make a mark for the ambient temperature down here at 20, and for the victim's brain temperature, I'm going to make a mark up here at 28. I will connect those two points with a straight line, and again, I'm using blue in this example. Then I'm going to go from the target here out through that point at which my blue line intersects the black line, which is part of the nanogram, and continue to extend that out so I can get an approximation of time of death. Again, this will be a red line to illustrate the line I just discussed. Now I can compute time of death. In this example, it looks as though the individual's been uh, just over four hours, knowing that that's four, four and a half, and five. I can make the approximation that this person's been dead 4.2 hours plus or minus 1.5 hours. Again, this is just a quick example of how to use brain temperature nanogram. Uh, again, these examples are for illustrative purposes only. Thank you.